from within the 3ds max uh, pull-down menu we're going to actually go to uh, import an inventor assembly file and once inside of uh, inside of 3ds max we're going to take this and make some modifications clean it up and when we're all ready uh, to get this into vault we're going to actually go to the asset tracking which is uh, uh, 3ds max think of that as the inventor browser and from the asset tracking we can add all of these files not just the uh, the scene files but all of the other uh, jpegs and bitmaps and all the other assets are collateral with it and we can check this all directly into vault furthermore we can actually go directly and open from vault from within 3ds max to open up and make some further modifications to that particular design so as we do that and bring this in and start to modify it, 3ds Max and the Vault add-in is is watching. It says, "Well, would you like to uh, check that out?" By the way, and this again, that's the same workflow that we see inside of Inventor, inside of AutoCAD. So now that our design is done, we've made some changes. We've given a nice background. We've got some animation with it. We can turn right around and check this right back into Vault. Uh, versioning it and essentially capturing all of our data, capturing all of our uh, design information uh, within Autodesk Vault.